hi guys welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here please subscribe it's absolutely free in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to make an over bust corset now this over bust corset kind of looks like a victorian corset the only difference is that you don't cut out the different panels as you would if you were making a victorian corset now this over bust corset also has a basque waistline i'm going to show you guys how to do that I'm also going to show you how to join this basque waistline over bust corset to your skirt pattern to make it a dress. So if you want to see how I do all of this, then definitely keep on watching. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> so I'm starting off with um, an already made off shoulder princess da bustier. You can use a regular um, full shoulder princess da bustier if you want. But what you want to do is you want to mark the lines where you're going to um sew your bonings on so that's what i'm doing now i had already marked it on the right side that's the lines i wanted to sew my bonings on but now i just went ahead to replicate those lines on the wrong side now you want to use this reggie line boning not the plastic boning now the plastic boning you cannot sew on top of it if you try to sew on top of the plastic boning your needle is going to break that's for sure but you can actually sew on this reggie line boning so i advise you guys to use this one Alternatively, you can actually use the plastic boning, bo bonings, but you need to make your boning casing and then insert the bonings, the plastic bonings, into the boning casing. So you can actually do that. This is what it looks like on the right side. Now, when you're sewing on that curve of the breast, you have to make sure that the first line on the boning you sew is directly on that line. That's that line that connects the center front with the side front. I hope that makes sense. So that seam line you have, you want to sew the boning on that line, exactly on that line, so that you don't have like two lines in the same place. So try to make sure that the line where you sew the boning is directly on the same line now once you have that done the other side of the boning should be on the center front and not on the side front I hope that makes sense guys so sew your boning in such a way that the boning is on the center front okay so it's on the same line and on the center front so do that for all the lines that you've marked and yeah this is what you have you can see it's already forming nicely now I'm just going to go ahead and use my lining to just turn the um, fabric as usual as you would normally do with um, a regular princess da bustier. Now I want to give you guys a tip. Now when you're making your boning, you know that your boning curves inwards and outwards. So it's like concave and convex. I don't know if you guys remember that thing from physics, but it's like concave and convex. So it curves inwardly and curves outwardly now i've tried to insert the bonings when they are curved inwardly it doesn't end well because the tip or the ending part of the boning what happens is that it begins to pop out and it looks funny so what you want to do is you want to insert your boning facing outwardly okay so when you drop your um your bust here when you've done when you're done inserting your boning it should be facing upwards as the curve should be facing upward and not inward okay i hope you guys understand that that way your boning and your corset will fit very very nicely compared to when you fix it with the curve of the boning facing inward hope that makes sense now i simply went ahead to just um join the lining to the fabric along the neckline i top stitched making sure that the allowance was facing the lining side and now i'm just sewing the sides closed And now I'm just going to go ahead and just turn this to the right side. And this is what we have basically. I'm just going to go ahead and just close that bottom part so that the lining and the fabric are just, it remains one piece. Okay. Now once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and just fold um, this piece in half, making sure that everything is nice and equal. So I can now cut my basque waistline. Okay, so from the other bust, I'm taking um, three inches downwards 
first of all i'm marking that under bust line and then i'm taking two and a half inches rather i'm taking two and a half inches downwards and from that point i'm just drawing a diagonal line all the way to the hem of the bust here and i'm just going to go ahead and just cut along that diagonal line and this is what creates that basque waistline effect Now I'm just going to go ahead and just sew those two pieces again together just like I did earlier. And this is what we have once we are done with that. Now taking the skirt part of um, my dress. I'm just folding the skirt part in half so I can just notch that center point. Now I'm just placing the bustier on top of the skirt. Now I'm making sure that the center point of the bustier aligns with the center point of the skirt. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to also make sure that the sides of my bustier, which are the shorter sides, the part where I had marked, I had cut with two and a half inches, the shorter sides the two the left and the right sides are shorter making sure that they are placed on the skirt at about half of an inch from the top of the skirts i hope that makes sense guys so the sides so the left side like where i'm at right now the left side and the right side those shorter sides are placed on the skirts from half an inch from the top okay so once i have that i'm just marking that outline of my basque waistline i'm just marking that outline and then i'm just going ahead to just sew along that line okay it's important that you sew it so that you don't just cut it and then all you, the pieces that's your lace your door face and your lining all just move around and it becomes a mess okay i'm going ahead to just cut it with half of an inch just above that seam um, line now placing the center point on the center point of the skirt so the center point of the basque waistline is placed on the center point of the skirt i'm just going ahead to just sew them together And this is what we have guys very simple very easy to do how to make an overboss corset and how to um um you know create that basque waistline and how to also join your basque waistline corset to your skirt pattern and yeah this is what it looks like guys this is how the dress turned out my clients absolutely loved it Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.